Investigators find no evidence of wrongdoing in the case of a former prosecutor who took his own life. The Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force served a search warrant at Chad Platt's home two years ago looking for child pornography. Three days later, Platt took his own life. News 4 Utah's Marcus Ortiz digs into this new development. State investigators say they couldn't find the evidence that they were looking for. That's because they say they couldn't break into Chad Platt's government-owned iPad. The case is closed. I can't say he's been cleared. There a lot of questions remain. Chad Platt, a former prosecutor with the Salt Lake District Attorney's Office, was the target of a child pornography investigation. Members of the state's Internet Crimes Against Children raided his home two years ago. The information came back to that residence where we executed the warrant. That contained graphic child pornography, images of child pornography. So we know there were children at risk. But Platt was never arrested and three days later took his own life. In a suicide note, Platt claimed he was innocent, but the allegations would affect his career. Since then, his family has been on a crusade to clear his name, but has been denied documents related to the investigation. Today, a deputy attorney general told the records committee the case is now closed, and they turned over the case file to the attorney representing the Platt family. The chief of investigation says the hang-up had been Platt's iPad owned by the district attorney's office. He says two laboratories, including the FBI, couldn't crack Platt's 26-letter password. Once we found out we couldn't access that final piece of evidence, we screened the case with the prosecutors to, to get it officially closed. It's, it's tragic. It's, yeah, it's frustrating and tragic for everybody involved. Salt Lake's District Attorney Sim Gill, who happened to be Chad Platt's boss, is angry with the Attorney General's office. But he says he wants to look at the documents first before making any public comment. In the newsroom, Marcus Ortiz, News for Utah. Platt's brother says they are still reviewing the case file, but they are not surprised no evidence against Platt was found.